Hello and welcome to Understanding Narcissists. Thank you so much for joining me. In this episode, I want to bring up probably the most commonly used illusion of a narcissist. And if it's not the entire illusion itself, it's at least a component of it, a part of it. And I won't say that all narcissists use this, but it's pervasive enough that it's a big deal and worth mentioning its own video. And that is the illusion of you and them against the world. So the narcissist will come on as this sort of victim. Um, and a victim because they're an unsung hero. They're sort of this great, fantastic person who's really witty, clever, whatever, interesting, um, outside of the box thinker that the world just doesn't appreciate and that their family just doesn't appreciate. And they're very, very special. They do all these great things and they care about you. And that maybe you two won't be agents of change. Maybe you won't be world leaders or big game changers all by yourselves. But together, you're, corner, you're kind of this special thing, this special item. And obviously it has mostly to do with relationships, not always, but very strong and prevalent in relationships. And it's sort of this special bond you two have. You guys are both special. You complement each other. And there's sort of an archetype type thing going back and forth um, where because of your own characteristics, you sort of level each other out and so therefore you're good for each other and you actually love each other and you should stay together forever. Um, I guess that's a pretty good summary of what I'm trying to say in this video. It's it's a, it's kind of a one-two punch they hit you with. It comes on pretty fast. You feel like, oh, there's something special with all this. This is so profound. And it, I'm giving the impression somewhat that it's men, narcissistic men doing this to women which maybe men do it more, but women do it to men too. It's the same thing, so it's not really gender uh, specific. And it, it's just, it's probably one of the most powerful uh, illusions in how fast it works, how fast it happens, because it can really get somebody like that really quick. And um, it's just there. It's, it's flexible. It can... Um, it can be used at any time. I think one of the great things about it is it's a really good sort of lead-in. It's really good at uh, when they're first um, sort of courting you and trying to, uh, trying to see if you'd be a good partner for them and a good person to manipulate and control and be an enabler and whatnot. They sort of can really vet you with it. And what's so scary is it's, you know, they have a timeline. They evolve over time. But this thing doesn't really evolve. It's just you, they can stick it anywhere. Let's say you're there with them for years, five years, 10 years. They can pull it out at any time, and it's really, really effective, especially in people who need to feel special, like us, like enablers. We like to feel special, and that's one of the things narcissists kind of do. Um, they're able to recognize that they can't actually make us feel special and actually fulfill us because that would take away from them, and in their own mind, it would make them afraid that we would leave them. So what they do is they give you this little kind of morsel you think more is always going to come, but it never does. So you're just basically sitting there waiting, um, and then they occasionally give you something that makes you feel kind of important, like it's you and them, you know, and only you and them. That's the only way it works, and nobody understands what you two have, and you'll often confuse it with love. Um, it's not love, but you're like, this is love. Is this what love feels like? That kind of thing. And it's, it's really sad because... It, it's terrible for you, of course, and it also is sad how it reveals their own sort of lack of humanity. It, it takes so much away from them to do it, that they can only do it so much, and it's, it's just a sad thing on both sides. Now, clearly, you're the victim here. I'm not changing that but it's it's just a it's it's disgusting how well it works and how well it works like forever and it's not just narcissists by the way i mean anybody um who's been around and has has lived even just as long as me 
uh, has seen this where, you know, there's this, this kind of, this thing that abusive people throw out there uh, to their spouse or their partner, like, yeah, we're really special and this is something important, even though I'm terribly abusive. It can be domestic abuse, not just emotional abuse or verbal abuse. Um, and it's just sad how, how effective it is. And it's such a cheap shot. I mean, it, it, it's kind of got a superficial value to it where it seems kind of important, but the whole thing in and of itself, the way it has to work, basically proves that it's false and that it's wrong. And also, like a lot of things the narcissist does, you know there's something wrong from the outset, but you kind of turn away from it because of this own, you know, this feeling, this desire to be loved or to be valued and appreciated, which we all have, but especially narcissists and enablers have. So it becomes this thing where you're constantly going for it. And you really are, you really are just waiting for that big thing. Someday it's gonna change, someday it's gonna happen. Little cliche here because that's a universal thing I'm talking about now. It doesn't just apply to narcissists, but man, is it true. And narcissists really, really use it. The weird thing about narcissists is compared to other abusive people and personality disordered people, they use it in a way without mentioning it. They just convey it emotionally. That's what they're masters of. That's what they do. They really have gotten that down to an exact science, almost an art form. You know, they're almost artists the way they exploit and abuse people. And it's bad. I don't want to, I'm not condoning it by calling it that, but it's just disgusting how good they are at it. And so how do you, how do you break away from that is the next question I want to sort of tackle. It doesn't come easily. That's obvious enough. What does come easily is that you kind of know it's happening. Um, you're just denying it with yourself. So it really is a fight with yourself at that point, not the narcissist. It's not, you're not going to be tangling with them, grappling with them, trying to figure out what's true and what's not. You already know what's up. You already know that they're liars. You already know none of it's true. You, you already know that it's no good for you, that it's never going to change. So that's the, the nice thing about it is it's not a mystery. With so many things about a narcissist, it's a complete mystery. You have no idea what they're doing. Um, and it takes a long time to figure it out and triangulate it and pinpoint it. But with this, this is something you have to overcome within yourself. And you'll figure it out. Um, but it takes a lot of personal strength. The only thing I can say is continuing to learn, continue to go forward, even when you're not ready to break away, is very, very important. Support from others, very, very important. And that's where it's kind of a grind. It's kind of a long haul. Um, but reaching that point where you're... I guess that's my goal, and that's always been my argument, is that when you reach that point where you're able to acknowledge that, um, you're so much better for it. You're already on that track. It's a question of how long before you're ready to break away, but you're already on that track. And I don't know if I can get you there. I feel like I've I've done something. I've given you something. I've, I've achieved something by helping you achieve something for yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Like it if you do. Share it with somebody you think might benefit from it. Um, comment in the comment section below about your experience with this. I'm sure you have lots to say on the matter. I would love to read it. I'm, I know others would love to read it. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.